We don't really need these. We don't read instructions, okay? I'm just gonna start off by that. Do me a favor. The majority of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up and also hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host, and today we're working in the kitchen. No, we're not doing cooking. No, we're not doing cleaning. We are going to be installing an Insincorator instantaneous water heater. That's right, water heater. So we have our little Insincorator heater here. That's the uh, the brains of the operation, and it's going to be going uh, right. Pardon the dirty dishes. This is a lived-in house. Going to be going in that hole, Vujero, right there. And uh, so, let's see. Tools you're going to need for this installation. Maybe a pair, a couple pairs of uh, crescent wrenches, channel locks, possibly a screwdriver. This here is a basin wrench, depending on how tight your space is behind the sink, in between the sink and the wall. Might need that to get up in there to the bottom nut on this. Uh, this sink has plenty of room, so I can use a pair of channel locks. And then we have a couple different uh, deals here. I'm going to be using this flex line, and this is a 12 inch flex, half inch uh, male arm, or I'm sorry, half inch female arm pipe by. 3 8 compression. Okay, that's a brass craft. And I'll put the link down below so you can go buy any of these goodies on Amazon, including some of these tools here. Uh, this is a quarter by a half inch male iron pipe adapter. That's going to go there. And then we have an Adity. The Adity is going to allow you to tie on to... Let me clean all this stuff out real quick. All right. So the Adity is going to allow you to tie on to your angle stop down here. Now this angle stop, I already have uh, a dual stop on. These are both dual stops. But if you only have a single underneath there, you can put that Adity all just in line in between your angle stop and the flex line that you already have on there and then you have a little outlet on it so one thing we do not have power underneath this sink we have power for the garbage disposal but we don't have power just like a regular plug okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the dishwasher out and i'm going to access the plug that is behind it because it has power all the time the garbage disposal plug only has power when the garbage disposal is on so that's not gonna work. So yeah, let's start by doing that. So I've got the dishwasher pulled out and right back there is the plug. That's where I'm gonna access power for this unit. I'm gonna bolt it onto this sidewall right here. Sorry, that light's pretty bright. But bolt it onto the sidewall right here and then I can get power through that hole down yonder and I can also get water and all the other stuff from the angle steps up above. So when you're mounting your faucet on granite, you got a rubber gasket right there. You have your fiber washer and the granite's gonna go in between here, okay? So your fiber washer is gonna allow for this to move a little bit more freely up against the granite. I'm gonna go ahead and set this here and I'm gonna use my magic powers to go ahead and put it in. Just like that, done. Nice and tight not going anywhere so i've got this hot water dispenser filter and i'm going to mount it right here she's in so now we got to figure out where we're going to pick up water we're going to pick up water right here on this side if you don't have a dual stop and all you have is the additive take this loose Put that out of tea in there and then that adds you an outlet. 
But since I have this dual stop, I've already put our reducer on there. I'm going to snug that up with the crescent wrench. And uh, this side is a 3 8 compression that's going to go on the other part over there. So the other thing is that your insincorator is going to come with a, this is a little vinyl tube. It's got this little insert. And then it's got, of course, your nut and your ferrule. And that little insert helps keep the, the tubing expanded and doesn't allow this ferrule to come off. So um, that's definitely necessary in this application. We'll shove it in there like that, tighten this up, and then we will slug it down with crescent and channel locks. All right, nice and snug. Now we'll go ahead and throw this on over here. When you're snugging that nut up, any type of flex line typically has a rubber gasket in there. And you don't want to tighten it too tight because then it will leak. So you want to go just maybe like a quarter turn past uh, hand tight, okay? This right here is coming from your angle stop over there, and it's going to go right here on the inlet side of the filter. And these are the uh, kind of like shark bite fittings. It's just push and lock, and it's got a gasket on the inside. You just want to stab it in there and uh, until it stops, and then you can give it a little tug a little bit, and it should be good. All right, and then we've got this other tubing that comes with the filter system. We're going to shove that in on the outlet side, and then we're going to put this handy-dandy T. So your handy-dandy splitter T is going to go over to those copper lines, which are right here. And then your blue line, let me put some light on the, on the situation. Blue line is going to go right here. Okay. You just push it down. And you got that line's going to go right there. Come on. Come on. And this line is going to go right there. Shove that on there. All right. Shove that on. This is just one other one of those fittings that just push, push, lock. Okay. Well, that's that right there. And then we got, of course, our outlet side of the of the filter there we go now I haven't plugged this in because I didn't want to plug it in without water in it let me bleed the air out of here now I've got all the air bled out of the insta hot heater all right come over here put this girl in here the heater's definitely working but it's going to take a bit for it to warm up so i'm going to give it hmm, 30 minutes let's say all right so it didn't even take but maybe 10 minutes and this thing was just scalding hot and it's coming out i don't know if y'all can see the steam it's coming off of it there it is yeah you can see it right right in here see all that steam coming out anyway trust me it's friggin hot so this is the hc view sn model i'll uh i'll put any information that i have for it below yeah if you've got any questions on this installation Feel free to uh, hit me up in the comments below, and I will try to help you as best I can. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Beard Adventures. 
do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife of the kitties do all kinds of great stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies.